another surge in COVID cases. Stalled vaccination rates and new reports of breakthrough infections are driving new guidance from the CDC this morning. And causing local governments to consider returning to mask mandates. We're not there yet in the city of Milwaukee, but Mayor Tom Barrett would not rule it out. Ryan Jenkins is live with more on uh, what is ahead in Milwaukee and around Wisconsin, Ryan. Yeah, good morning. Both the CDC and the city of Milwaukee reversing course here this morning. Officials with both asking you to wear a mask if you're going to be indoors, even if you are vaccinated, if you're going to be in a place considered a COVID hotspot right now. And that does include Milwaukee County, which is seeing a substantial rate of transmission right now. You know, today, the number of COVID-19 cases is significantly higher than it was just two and three weeks ago. Milwaukee County right now reporting an average of 80 four new cases per day, an alarming number, according to some doctors. And right now, about half of the population here is vaccinated. Milwaukee's mayor, Tom Barrett, urging everyone to embrace masks once again to help slow the spread in the community. This request comes without enforcement, uh, and that's the challenge. Um, we are not enforcing it, but we are asking people um, to wear masks, regardless of vaccination status, as they go indoors, particularly when they're congregated in a close proximity with other people. The mayor adding that he does not necessarily want to use enforcement right now because he does not believe that would be the most effective strategy. Vince, Susan. So Ryan, the mayor also saying the city is monitoring a possible surge in cases linked to those large gatherings in the Deer District and the parade and championship rally that that was last week. Yeah, that's right. The mayor points out in a press briefing yesterday that it takes up to 10 days for people to show symptoms in some cases when talking about COVID-19 infections. So we don't have the full picture yet. He's mostly concerned about those who may have attended those events unvaccinated. And he is once again urging everyone to take advantage of free vaccine sites throughout the city, Susan.